Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. What I'd like to take a look at today is how you can modify geometry within families in your projects. And to do that, we're going to take a look at this door that I have here. As you can see, it's got a little more detail than what you might see in a typical family that comes out of the, the libraries that you get installed with. Um, I, that's because I've taken this to look like uh, an elevation I have from our project. So all these things that I'm highlighting are basically extrusions and blends and <clears throat> different ways of creating geometry within the family interface. So there's one last edit that needs to be done on this family here and it's within this extrusion that I've got highlighted. So if I want to make modifications to the geometry within an extrusion, I'm going to select the extrusion and I'm going to click on edit extrusion up here. Then it brings you to a little bit different view where you're just seeing the pink outlines of that extrusion. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come to an elevation view using my view cube and I'm going to remove this inside geometry. And the reason why I'm doing this is because these, these lines are representing extrusion that's going to have a different thickness than this one on the outside. So all I need to do is create one closed loop for this outside profile and then recreate what you're seeing on the inside. Fortunately, I already have the glazing cut out, so I'm going to be able to use that to create the inside extrusion here in the next step. So as you can see, I'm just grabbing the grips or the nodes for that line work and I'm closing it off. And when I have a closed profile, I'll click the green check mark and now that extrusion is simply on the outside. So what I can do here is I can take a look at where this starts and I can use this information to position my new extrusion in the future or we can just modify that manually. So to create the new extrusion what I'm going to do is come up to my front elevation and as you can see here with this shaded mode I've got some glazing in here so I'm going to use that that line work to create this. So I'm going to come up to create and choose extrusion and it's going to say pick a plane. So I'm going to just use this pick a plane option that's already there and say OK. And I'm going to select the front face of this extrusion. So now that's saying my sketch is going to start on that face. So all I'm going to do here is just use my pick lines option. I'm going to come in and grab this line work. So just a little bit of drafting here. I shouldn't say drafting because this is a, a lot easier than drafting ever was. Okay. And what I'm going to need to do is split these outside lines so I can make closed loops. So I'm going to grab my split tool and I'm going to put a split in here, basically in between all the line work. And then I'll just be able to use my trim extend feature to miter those all off. Let's do this right. Okay, so I'm just closing out these corners and then we'll just have that inside profile that we need. That right. Okay, so I think that's everything we need for this profile. I'll just grab those two corner lines. We don't need those. So now I've got this closed profile. Again, I'm clicking on the green check mark and our extrusion is there. Now, each of these extrusions is gonna have an end and a start point and a really good way to adjust these extrusions is simply come up to a plan view. So I'm gonna use my ground floor plan and uh, and adjust them from there. As you can see, you get different view representations. So I'm seeing the door uh, with the open swing here. That might not be what I want. So I'm going to come back to the 3D view actually, and I'm going to use the plan view here. And as you can see, here's my extrusion, but it's not in the right spot. So if I come to a wireframe visual style, I'll be able to locate where this is. So what you'll notice too is the, the 3D view gives you the true representation of this geometry. So if I want to 
line this up using my grips, I can see where this extrusion should start and end. Um, you'll notice that you have locks here as well, and what these do is they just put uh, basically a constraint on that parameter. If you want to take a look at some of the other parameters that you'll see in your geometry, is this little button right here. So if you come up to the top, it's got the four little blue cubes. It'll open up a dialog box that'll give you some of the parameters. Okay, so uh, door material, you'll see that I've changed the frame material. Um, there's a thickness for the dimensions, right? So these are all dynamic inputs that you can modify. I haven't really set this up to be a dynamic family. It was just static for this project. So maybe in a little while we'll do a new video in that respect. But um, I'll just change my shaded mode back here and we'll see that now this extrusion, <clears throat> it's where we need it. And it goes to the inside and the outside of our glazing, but it doesn't go all the way back. Okay, so that's just a quick modification to a door family and the extrusions within it. Uh, there's lots more to get into with families. Uh, definitely a deeper dive is required, but if you just want to get in and make some simple modifications, then that's how you go about it. Um, I'm going to do one more video and show how I started a new family um, using an, an existing one. So stay tuned for that and we'll make a new window for this project. Thanks for watching. Bye now.